Optimizer's Pro Dashboard is where you see all of your accounts in a single place. Here you can see AdWords accounts, Bing Ads accounts, or all of your accounts. In this case, I'm looking at my start accounts, which I can do simply by clicking on the star next to an account that I want to make a favorite so that it becomes available in this view. If I have new accounts to add, I can do it through here. You can even link Google Analytics accounts through here, and then that data becomes available as a column next to the corresponding account. So we can see for the original test account, we have 15 goal one conversions. The default view of the dashboard may not include all the metrics that you want to see. So you can go to choose columns and enable or disable some of the columns that are interesting to you. Once you've done that, be sure to hit the button here to save this view so that the next time you come back to the page, we'll remember what you're looking at in terms of columns and in terms of accounts. That way you don't have to constantly change it. The majority of metrics you see on the dashboard have detail views. Simply by hovering over it, you're going to see four weeks of historical data along with some trends. So for the past daily value, this is the four week moving average and the more recent daily value is the one week moving average. So that's how we decide if the trend is up, flat or down. And you can also see it represented with all of the details on these mini charts. Let's set an alert if the cost per conversion gets too high. So we'll simply go to the cost per conversion for the account that we care about and we'll click to add an alert. It already pre-fills the field with four weeks of historical averages and a plus minus 10% tolerance, and we can change that from here. So let's say we actually were willing to have a $15 cost per acquisition. Once we monitor this, it does immediately come back red, even though currently we're hitting that $15 CPA. So why is that? Well, it's because even though we're below the target, the metric is trending up, so it's headed in the wrong direction. So this is an early indicator that this metric may not be great in the near future. So now if you go and do something about this and you fix it, you can always come back and say snooze that alert. Once you snooze it, you have the option to do it for a number of different days. So let's say seven days. And now you can see it's indicated as snoozed and it's no longer red. So it doesn't draw your attention to this. And then seven days from now, if it's still not meeting the target or it's still headed in the wrong direction, it'll become red again. Next, I'll show you what happens to an alert if you're both missing the current target as well as it's trending in the wrong direction. So here we have $130 CPA over the last four weeks, but let's say we wanted to hit $100 cost per acquisition. Now we see it's both above the target and it's trending in the wrong direction. So this is a double red, which comes back as a stronger shade of red on this dashboard. Once again, I could snooze that, or in this case, I'm just gonna delete that alert because that's not exactly what I wanted to have. Alerts for budgets work slightly differently. So when it comes to budgets, I can hover over these and I have an option right here to change it on the spot. So I can change my budget right there. And what this is telling me is this is underspending. And the way it's determined that is because there's only six days left in the current month, but we have $501 left out of a thousand. So we have more than 50% left to spend. So obviously we're trending below where we should be at in the current po point of the month. If you want to get more detail and a more sophisticated analysis, we do have that through the spend projection, which is one of our data insight tools. So you can click on this link to get there to get a more precise prediction of how much you'll spend by the end of a certain period. This would also trigger an alert if you were overspending. So if you have a monthly budget, usually you don't want to be below it, but you also don't want to be above it. So either below or above that target budget, that's going to come back as a red alert. If you don't have a specific budget and you don't and just want to spend as much as possible, so long as your cost per acquisition is good, for example, then you can just leave this at a zero budget and instead set an alert on the metrics that actually matter to you. So that's how you can use this dashboard to really stay on top of what's happening with all of the accounts that you manage.